Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Justin Hart. I'm one of the team members here at the Howard. Thank you so much. I'm not going to talk long. I'm going to hand it off to Mayor Cummings here. Thank you, Justin. Good afternoon. And welcome to another warm day in the coolest city in the state of Wisconsin. If not the Midwest, we'll throw in the country too. Uh, first, I'd like to thank Carrie Sharp and Jenna Goldman for their vision, bringing back to life one of the most important architectural treasures in the city of Oshkosh. As many of you may know or may not know, I'm sort of the unofficial historian of the council, and the preservation of Oshkosh history and architecture is very important to me and the city. The Harvard has, a, has been a significant, significant center for social life in Oshkosh since it was built in 1928 as a meeting place for the Fraternal Order of Eagles. Its local architects were James Jensen and Henry Aller, who have been associates of William Waters. And the building is considered to be the best example of Oshkosh, in Oshkosh, of English medieval architecture style used for a large public building. The building was originally built by the Ganther Construction Company, which built many of the buildings up and down Washington. And they also did the full historic renovation and restoration of what we see today. In fact, this building was recently placed on the state and national register of historic places. Very few properties in the city of Oshkosh have received that honor or in the state. Since it was built, this is the place to go. I'm sure many of you here today remember going to wedding receptions, maybe your own high school dances, and many other events. Over the past 90 years, the Howard's opulent ballroom hosted anything from former galas to boxing and wrestling matches, political rallies, and more. It was also a destination during the big band era of 30s and 40s. This was a place to hear your favorite vocalists and musicians. Beyond all that, bowling has also been an important part of the social fabric of Oshkosh. So it was great to see that the bowling alleys will be also restored as part of the renovation of the Howard. It's a people that are an important part of our history and the memories that have been created at the Eagles Club are irreplaceable. Now new memories will be made for generations to come at the Howard. My wife Dee Dee and I had the privilege to attend the grand opening celebration on Saturday and we were overwhelmed at the elegance of the new Howard. It is something to see, which you'll see in a few minutes. The last time I was here for a dance was a few weeks before I graduated from high school. The year is not, the year is not terribly important. <laughs> uh, what I can say was like traveling back in time and I can't wait to return for events that are being planned such as concerts, dinner theaters, and other entertainment. We are all visual creatures, and when residents and visitors alike now drive down the almost newly Washington Avenue, they will see a street line with buildings built by visionaries over the past century. The Oshkosh Public Library, Masonic Temple, former Wisconsin National Life Insurance Company, the former U.S. Postage, Post Office, and the YMCA. These buildings are also, many of these buildings are also landmarks. It's project projects like the Howard that are transforming Oshkosh into one of the coolest cities in the state, and as I said, probably in the nation. We are on a roll. We are a boom town once again. Over the past decade, a new breed of visionary, both public and private, has been reshaping the city of Oshkosh. This collaboration has led to some rather exciting changes in our city in less than 10 years. We have the river walk along the north and south shores of the historic Fox the Wisconsin Herd and Menominee Nation, Arena Oshkosh Corporation Global Headquarters, the Farmer's Market, one of the best in the Midwest, and the revitalized Main Street, the best Western Hotel, the Convention Center, and the Leech Amphitheater. And the list goes on and on and on, and there's more coming. But I think it's safe to say that we had, we've had a very dynamic decade in the city of Oshkosh, thanks to the many people here today. It's so great when we see people who were raised in Oshkosh in the f invest in the future of their hometown. Carrie and Jenna have put a lot of faith in the growth, future growth and vibrancy of Oshkosh. It's their passion and commitment that has brought us here to, 
to this celebration. This is why I can say with confidence that Oshkosh has become a world-class city and a great place to live, work, play, and learn, and I will emphasize play. Thank you again, Carrie and Jenna, for the most spectacular restoration of an iconic building in the city's history, and thank you for caring so deeply about our community. do the talking but Jenna can at least stand by me. So for those of you who do not know us yet my name is Carrie Sharp and this is my sister Jenna Golem. Uh, Mayor Cummings gave a lot of really great history of the building um, so I'm not going to go over all of that but I just was going to answer two questions that we most frequently get asked about the Howard. The first one is why did we do this? Clearly it was no small task and really I think it speaks to the fact that Jenna and I have a really strong love for our city of Oshkosh. We were both born and raised here spent some time away for school and work, but have re moved back in recent years and are really excited about all the re revitalization efforts happening, particularly downtown. And we wanted to continue that. With the beautiful new YMCA across the street, we just saw that this was a hidden gem that was just waiting to be polished again. So we were excited to be able to do that. The second question that I get asked very often is why is it named the Howard? Obviously everybody knows this building for many decades as the Eagles Club and the history is very important. But we thought that giving it a fresh new face also needed a fresh new name. And we named it in honor of our late grandfather, Howard Curler, who was CEO of Bemis at one time, and just an extraordinary man, philanthropist, businessman, and just a wonderful father, grandfather, and somebody that we felt really it was fitting of a tribute of this building. And when you go inside, there's a photo of him right front and center, so you can take a peek of him when he was about 18 years old serving in World War II. So we will be opening today to the public. We're really excited. Um, inside you will see we've got a brand new cafe. We've got some event spaces that we'll be using for concerts, dinner theater, private events, specialty dining. We also have restored the bowling lanes. However, they are not quite ready yet, so we'll not be touring those today, but they are coming soon. So um, I just wanted to thank everybody for being here today. I also want to thank our phenomenal staff. We have, we have put together just an incredible team of people that are just as dedicated to bringing this back to life and bringing in a, a, a very unique experience to Oshkosh and beyond. So um, thank you all for being here and you're welcome to come experience the Howard.